Hey everyone, Adas from Elementor here. Today we will create a pop-up to convince our customers to buy our product. Let's say that a customer is visiting this headphone checkout page. Speaking for myself, when I buy online, I almost never buy on the first visit. But what would happen if I would get a message like that? By doing that, we are accomplished three goals. First, we are keeping the visitors in the shopping loop. Second, we are bringing more potential clients to our shop by sharing the product with others. Third, because we didn't push for a purchase, we earn our visitors trust, which is the most difficult goal. Now let's see how we do it with Elementor Pop-Up Builder. In Finder, search for a pop-up, add a new pop-up, and give it a name. OK. Here we can see our template library with more than 100 templates we can choose from. But I already made a template for this tutorial, so I'll just go to My Templates, find it, and click Insert. So we can see the pop-up background here. The only thing that is missing is the GIF and the Share buttons. Let's add them. Search for the image widget and drag it to our pop-up. Let's change it to our GIF. Now let's add the Share buttons. So search for them and drag them in. Go ahead and change the button from LinkedIn to WhatsApp. And let's also change it to an icon and make it flat. Align everything to the center. And we're good to go. So now my pop-up is ready but I want to give it an entrance animation. Under the pop-up setting, go to entrance animation and from the drop-down menu, choose slide in right. Set the animation duration to one. Now let's click publish and set the conditions, triggers and advanced rules. Click on the add condition and choose singular. All pages. Then write the name of the page where you want the pop-up to pop. Click next. Here we can see the triggers. We want the pop-up to show after an activity of 20 seconds. So let's switch it on and set the time. For this example, we're not going to set any advanced rules. So click on save and close. Great. Now let's see it in action. Preview the page where we set the pop-up to show. Cool, right? Let's see some more examples of the same idea. So next time you are designing a pop-up for your shop, try to think about your customers and what will make them share and buy your product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the latest updates and tutorials.